name's Kanade. I'm a single mother who just moved to a rural village. The girl next to me is my daughter, Ompu. She will turn five this year. She's a little mature for her age and has a bright personality and is growing up fast. Strolling through the park! Strolling through the park! <laughs> I was feeling sorry for Ompu because we had to move due to my divorce. But Ompu seems to like this place and is very happy every day. My friend at daycare, Miki-chan, says that she's going to Hawaii next vacation. Really? That's nice. Yo-chan is going to Guam and Satoshi-kun is going to Saipan. Oh, really? I'm jealous! I want to go on a trip overseas too! I'm sorry, Ompu. We don't have that kind of money. I'm working two jobs to raise Ompo on my own. A person like me who has no education can only make a little. Our life is not easy. Aww. Why is our family so poor? Ompu! Ompu, listen to me. It's true we're poor. We don't have the money to go on trips. But you know... I'm happy just to be able to spend time with you. And, hey, are you listening? Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. I wasn't listening. Mom, boo. What did I say about listening till the end? But, Mom! There's someone lying on the ground. What? See? There! What? Are you kidding me? In a safe city like this? When I looked over to where Ompu was pointing, I saw a man collapsed on the ground. I was so shocked, I couldn't even move. On the other hand, Ompu... Hey! Are you dead? Ah! Ompu, stop that! Don't unleash your curiosity right now! Mm. Wait! Are you... alive? I think so. Barely. But... yeah. The man who was collapsed on the ground was alive. But as he said so himself, he was in pretty bad shape. I wonder what had happened. His clothes are all torn and he's worn out. Um... Did something happen? No. Nothing. Happened? I mean, look at you! Oh. Um... Uh... I'm just... Hungry, that's all. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't have to laugh that hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't help but to laugh. Just a few minutes ago, we thought you weren't alive, so... That was surprising! <laughs> if you're going to make fun of me, go away! I'm suffering here and you all are laughing. You're just hungry. <sighs> You're in trouble, aren't you? Big time. As you can see, I have no money and I haven't ate in two days. What? Hey, I feel sorry for him. Let's help him out. Huh? I mean, he's being laughed at by a five-year-old like me. What? You really know how to get on my nerves. Huh. <sighs> You're a little off on about why you feel sorry for him. Hmm... You're right. There has to be something going on for not being able to eat for two days. I want to help, but... What can we do? Oh! I know! Let's go! Huh? Where? Don't worry, you'll find out soon. What? what isn't this a family restaurant? Yep, I'll treat you today. We're laughing at you so hard earlier. <laughs> I feel bad. I can't let you treat me. We just met. Don't worry. When in need, we help each other out. I'm teaching my kid not to abandon someone in need even if you don't have the money. Nothing's worse than an empty heart. But we're poor and we don't have the money, so... 
Cheap family restaurants are the only place I can treat you, but it's better than not being able to eat, right? You two are so kind. You guys can't afford two either, and yet I'll accept your kindness with gratitude. It's my first time at a family restaurant. What? Your, your first time? Mom! He said it was his first time at a family restaurant! Oh, yes he did. I guess he's more poor than us. How sad. It's so good! Their cooking's pretty good! I didn't think you'd be so happy. The man gobbled up his meal as soon as he took a seat. And finished eating his large-sized lunch in no time. Thank you for the meal. I really appreciate it. You're a good eater. I'm glad you're happy. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Alto. Okay, I'm Kanade, and this is my daughter. Apu! Why were you collapsed on the ground? And you said you haven't eaten in two days. Yeah, to be honest, this is my first time being in the city, and I accidentally left all my things inside the bus. My wallet, my phone, everything. And I was thinking to myself, what should I do? And when I realized, two days had already gone by. What? This place is middle of nowhere, and I don't have the money to go back home. Are you serious? As I listened to his story, I noticed he was a pretty careless person. You were thinking, and two days went by? You've got to be kidding me! Hey, mister! Yeah? Do you not have anything inside here? What? Ompu, oh, stop it! That's not nice. Though, it does look empty. <sighs> oh, come on! You can borrow a phone from a house close by, or you can borrow money from somebody that passes by! There's so many ways you could have saved yourself! Right, Mom? Don't you think so, too? It, yeah, I think so, too, but uh, I think you've said enough. You're right. I didn't even think about it. You two are not only kind, but really smart, too. Thanks for telling me. Uh... <laughs> There's something about him you can't hate. He is incredibly stupid, though. He's... Cute, in a way. Is this what they call maternal instinct? If that's the case... Here, you can use my phone to call the bus company. Huh? You let me? Of course. No problem at all. Thank you for everything. And so, Altosan called the bus company and... I found it! It's all thanks to you too. Thank you so much. He found it in a second. His problem was solved so easily. What was he doing for two days? Alright, I guess I'll go get my stuff and head on home. Thank you for so much. Okay. It was fun talking to you. Me too. Have a safe way home. I'm going to miss you. Hey, Ompu. You're going to trouble him if you say that. Um... If it's alright with you guys, please let me thank you on another day. You guys both saved my life. You saved me even though you guys are living a hard life, right? Please let me thank you on another. Oh, no, no worries. I'm glad, but Alka-san's never been to a family restaurant. He's that poor. There's no way I could accept his thank you. So with that being said, you don't need to thank me. Just, when you see someone in trouble next time, help them out. Uh. And that's how I said no thank you to his offer. Why not? I just want to thank you too. Alright then. Can you guys wait for a second? Is there an ATM around here? What? Um, if you go straight down here and turn right, there's a convenience store. With those words, he headed for the convenience store. How come he wants us to wait? Hmm... I don't know why either. After a while, Alto-san came back carrying a big luggage. Phew! 
I'm back. Huh? W welcome back. Here you go. Open this when you get home. What? Uh, okay. You have to promise not to look what's inside until you get home. Why? <laughs> Alto-san, I said you don't need to thank me. It's fine, really. It's nothing that special. Take it. Uh, all right. Thank you so much. Opa, you say thank you too. Thank you, mister! No problem. Thank you too. All right. I have to go now. I'll never forget what you guys did for me. And so, Alto-san dashingly left the place. I feel a little sad knowing we won't ever see him again. Aww. I guess he's gone. I wonder what's inside. Let's open it when we get home. He really was a mysterious guy. At home. What? What is this? When we got home and opened the bag, Altosan gave us... What we found was loads of cash. We... We can't accept this kind of cash. There, there's a letter inside too. What? Hmm. Kanade, Onpu, thanks for helping me today. This is a little gift from me. I hope you accept it. This is the address where I work. Please come by any time. Let's take this back to him. What? We get to see him again? Let's go, let's go! And so we decided to give him back the money. So, we arrived at the address in the letter, but... Where we arrived was such an unexpected place. What? This place is a super expensive restaurant. It was even featured on TV and magazines. Wow! He really works here? I guess you can't judge people by their looks, right, Mom? Oh, poo. Uh, excuse me. Um... Hello. Welcome to... Huh? Wait, wait. Do you know where you are? Excuse me? This is not a place for poor people like you. This place is an intimidating, high-class restaurant. And I'm the genius chef, Sir Casino. <laughs> we completely understand this is not a place for us. But I was still hurt by his obvious bad attitude. Hold on. Why would you... <gasps> Mom! If you don't have money, go home. <laughs> this is not a place for you guys. Hey, wait! Why would you hurt my mom? Apologize! What? Why do I have to bow my head down to the poor? You have to be nice to people! You're an adult and you don't even understand that? Ompu, stop! You can stop now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to go through this. Let's go home, Ompu. Okay. If we had the money, you'll take us in, right? What? If we had the money, you'd apologize to mom, right? What are you saying? <laughs> it's probably some fake cash for kids, right? It looks pretty real, though. <laughs> but I'm not going to be fooled by this. So our chef can't even tell the difference between fake and real. Huh? What? Owner? How dare you treat my customer like that? A customer? Your customer? These poor people? Hey, you better watch your mouth. <laughs> Alto-san! Mister! Alto-san who showed up in front of us was a totally different person. Oh, wait a second. What? You're, you're the owner? Really? I thought you were so poor that you've never been to a family restaurant. What? No, no, no. <laughs> Looks like we've mistaken the whole thing. Yep. He lives in a totally different world. Oh, I feel so embarrassed. No, I'm the one who should be embarrassed for hiring someone like him. It's the worst to only judge customers by their looks. We don't need people like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. If I knew they were friends with the CEO, I would have treated them properly. That's not what I meant. Please forgive me. 
Please. Apologize to them first. Man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for treating you badly. <sighs> I can't forgive you. You don't seem sorry at all. I can tell. You brat, watch your mouth. They saved my life. They're living a hard life, but they were still kind to me. But you went on and treated them bad. And on top of that, you can't even apologize right. But... So you're fired. W wait Hold on! Please! Please! I kneel down and beg for forgiveness as many times as you want! Goodbye! Never show your face here again. Are you sure? Wasn't he a great chef? No problem at all. No matter how good you are at cooking, if your personality likes that then... I'm really sorry. Oh, we're alright. Well, come on in. I'll treat you to our fine meal. But that's not what we're here for. We came to give you this back. What? What is it? Here! Mister, we can't accept this! What? You came all this way to give this back? That was a, such a long way, wasn't it? Yes. We walked two and a half hours. What? You didn't use the money you received and walked 2.5 hours to give it back? You guys have such beautiful soul. What's wrong, mister? Alto-san? Hey, why don't you marry me? What? Ah! A proposal? This sudden? Alto-san is a little weird. But that's what I like about him. My answer to his proposal? <laughs> is a secret. <laughs>